Hi, OK, I'm going to show you some very basic stuff to do with BNC Web. Um, something to do with the registration and simple searches. So, so let's go first to registration. Let me click on this and here we are on the, on the registration page. Obviously to register for an account we go to register for an account. Um, now there are a couple of important things here. First of all, institution. It's important that you put University of Birmingham, I'm trying to spell it correctly, and it's also important that you put your Birmingham University email here. So it will look something like abc123 at bham.ac.uk. And then, of course, you choose the country that you're in. Um, this is important, the institution and the email belonging to Birmingham, because that will give you full access to the BNC web. Uh, if you don't give them, you won't get the full access. And then you won't be able to do all the brilliant things that BNC web has to offer. <coughs> OK, uh, then of course you'll choose a username that's easily easy for you to remember, and a password that's also easy for you to remember. Now one note to do with the passwords is, as it says here, this, the BNC web passwords are not secure. Um, so don't use a password that's important for you, that, you know, for a bank account or something like that. Try and make up one that's separate just for this site. Um, once you've done all that uh, and you register, it will send your, uh, you an email, a confirmation email, to this address and then you'll be ready to go. So let's assume you've done all that and then you're ready to go to this one, this login to BNC web. Um, so let's just do that. You'll see something like this. Depends a bit on your browser, but basically it's the same everywhere. So you log in. And this is the screen that you'll see. Um, just a couple of things to note here. Uh, well, actually, let's let's do a simple search first, and I can talk about important details as we go along. So I'm going to look for the word decent. Okay, when I'm writing this, um, you'll notice that the query mode says ignore the case. It doesn't matter whether it's capital D or not. You can, of course, change that by going to case sensitive. Um, now there may be instances where that's important for you. I'm not actually that worried about it at the moment. Um, also, on the next page you'll see we'll get 50 lines. You can, of course, change that to have as many lines as you like. 50 lines is generally about right. Um, okay, so once we're ready to go... Uh, oh, sorry, there is one more thing before we start the search. This is quite helpful too. Um, I'd, I'd recommend uh, right-clicking and um, downloading, or opening in a new window maybe, and then downloading this uh, it gives quite a lot of useful information for sorting out simple searches. So once we're ready, we'll start the query and we'll see what it says. Okay, so um, perhaps the first thing to note here is the frequency information. So decent occurs 1,769 times in the BNC in 839 different texts. Then we can compare that against uh, uh, compared to the total size of the corpus and the total number of texts. And finally, we're, we're given um, a normalized uh, frequency that is per million words for every million word kind of averaged out over the whole corpus. We'd expect to see around about 18 instances every million words. So that's the frequency information for decent. The next thing to note is the view that we've got. So at the moment we've got all the instances of decent here are in the sentences that they occur in. And if we go down further down we'll notice some sentences are pretty long, some are pretty short. And as I mentioned before, we'll have 50 lines on the page. And obviously, because there's this many hits, we've got 36 pages. 
now there is an alternative view which many people prefer and that's the quick view so if we just click on show quick view we'll notice that decent lines up down the middle and many, as I said many people like this and you can see then it makes words which go together very obvious alright um, another thing that is that should be pointed out is the order so although we've got 36 pages this at the moment is in corpus order so you'll notice the file names start with A and the numbers go up gradually the, the second lot of numbers is the, the line number in the file it's the first three uh, the, the letter and the two numbers here that which are important for the corpus order if we go to the end one we'll, we'll find much later ones this is the final page it goes up to k s s okay so this obviously isn't necessarily ideal we can show them in random order now we'll notice the file names are all in different order it means we don't have to look through the whole lot to to check for and it's more balanced out across the files. Okay, a couple more things to show. Um, you might be, you might want to look at a line and think that well, that's interesting or strange or whatever, and you might want to know more about the file itself. So in this case, if you just move your cursor over here, it will show you all the information about this file, this particular file. Um, so this is from a social science periodical. Uh, and it tells you when it was written, publication date, oops, sorry, um, who it was written for, where it was published, that kind of thing. And we can get all this information by actually clicking on there. Um, so that's quite interesting. Another thing that's quite interesting is if you hover over the word itself, it will give you all the tags for each word in the line that we've got. So we notice decent is marked here as an adjective, etc, uh, etc. Et um, and we can get a larger, if we want looking at in more context or more cotext I should say, um, we can see more by clicking on the word itself. And we can get even more if we go here, more context. And go so we can see more of the, the original file if we want to find out more about the word in its particular this particular text so if we're going back I think those are the main things uh, right so let's say now we've done that we want to go back here um, and we could do another search again possibly we might be interested in decent just in spoken texts and we'll notice that the frequency information is quite different now and in fact it, it would appear it occurs more, slightly more frequently in spoken than in written um, it's going back so we could do the same thing for written and yes as we notice it's down to 17 rather than whatever it was 26 <clears throat> okay, one final thing to show you is um, the user settings. If, as you know, if like me, you prefer seeing things with the, the 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 word of interest down the middle of the page, you might prefer to change this to Quick View. That's what I prefer, and also you might prefer in random order rather than corpus order. Uh, I don't think any of the others well you could you know in, explore this a little bit and try different things but those are the two main things for now so let's just update our settings then if I do search for decent again it should yes it'll give me all the words down the middle and they're in random order <coughs>